All right, so clocked in you here. We here with the goat herself, Vegas legend, Aaliyah Gales. Let's <laughs> give it up. All right, so obviously you've been through a lot of a lot of things this whole year, but first we want to highlight all the good things that have happened. You just graduated. You had a lit prom, lit graduation, an amazing basketball career that's just getting started. So talk to me, talk to us a little bit about that. Like, how was prom? Let's start with prom because prom, prom is lit. Right, prom, yeah, prom is lit. lit. <laughs> but um, let's start with this. Everybody just came through for me. Like, yeah, there was hella people there, and um, we were just lit. We was having fun, dancing around, eating good food there. You know how the black people eat yeah. good food, <laughs> which I have. <laughs> Uh, Which I was everything you can name, want to play. I don't, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> it was Thanksgiving at prom. Basically. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Bad, yeah. Bad, bad. But yeah, uh, it was a special moment for me because, like, through all this, you know, people still came and support all they love and everything. So prom was fun. I mean, I didn't really do much, but you know, I still got my groove in. Nah, and, we and, saw. He was getting it in. <laughs> he was getting it for but, sure. Yeah. I ain't never seen a prom like that in my life. I don't think anybody's ever done that. So yeah, I got to give a shout out to my old rehab because they didn't have to do that. Yeah, they but, let y'all do that. That's yeah, dope. but they went out of their way and made that happen for me. So you know, that was pretty good. So graduation was like the oh, same graduation vibe. was tense. I ain't gonna care. I was kind of nervous. Why? I was kind of nervous because being around. I haven't been around like a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when I went over there and seen all my classmates or whatever, it was like damn, overwhelming. Like, yeah, it was so, all love though. Yeah, it was all love. Definitely when I got up on the rolled up on the stage. Oh uh, uh, yeah. That moment when I was like I lift up my diploma, everybody was just screaming for me. Drop, yeah. drop a cup of tears. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but, of course. What? That's a but, crazy moment. But yeah, I didn't think you know, I didn't really think everybody go stand up and get up out their chairs for me or anything, but they did. They showed up. So I don't think you really realize like how crazy your legacy is in the city, even before any of this happened. Like everybody was already supporting yeah. you heavy, so that's never gonna change. Everybody's always gonna have love for you, so I just know that. Um let's talk about basketball. McDonald's on American. That looked lit. I saw all your pictures. Man. How was it? I was dreaming about it so like when I got picked when I was watching it myself and everything it was like wow like I'm living my dream really yeah well. so fire. when I went man it was off the chain right when I got there it was just like everybody lit I know a couple of people are there and whatever yeah uh I think my special one was when I met Emma Shepard or whatever Tiana's boyfriend mm -hmm. yeah I thought she was gonna be there but she wasn't <laughs> But, you know, that was fun. <laughs> Dancing with him, everybody, you know, showing some moves out there for everybody. It was just yeah. fun. It was like, everybody was there. Everybody was connected together. Mm -hmm. And playing a game on ESPN, like, a worldwide, Fire. like, see me play. And I shot my first three. I was like, damn, hey. just going to go in. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, every, after that, it was just like, yeah. Like, yeah. nervous. Went, out, went away. And, like, it felt good. It felt love. Yeah, it's always love. Um, all right, so you just committed to USC. Well, you had already committed to USC. I did sign. Yeah, you signed. So, um, what made you pick them? Well, what, were your, what were your top like three top schools? Three? Yeah. Um, my top three USC? was Duke, USC, and LSU. Yeah. yeah. And Georgia was top four. I guess top four Georgia too. Georgia was in there. What made you pick USC? Yeah. Oh, Crazy. Yeah, That's good. Crazy. She, mom wanted you to go there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm ready to go back. <laughs> I used to live out there. I love it. But no, I chose USC because they were just really supportive and they believed in me too. And I wanted to go back home because that's where like most of my grandmas and grandpas mm -hmm. and everybody be at. Yeah. And uh, it's close from people out here to come see me yeah, play also. Facts. Plus, um, just really wanted to go back home and, uh, they really supported, like, they didn't have to do what they did for me in this situation, but Facts. they did still. Yeah. And the players, like, those, like, are already my best friends already, so. That's dope. That's important family. That's what, that's, that's what's going to keep you there because a lot of times players go to these colleges and that's not what it is made up to be or what mm -hmm. the coaches try to tell you it's going to be, even the players. So the good, the good thing that you have that, like, family dynamic already. But speaking on, like, support systems, did this experience kind of weave out people in your life at all, or did it bring them closer to you, do you think? I think it brought people closer to me because, like I said, the support got heavier. 
and the love got heavier. Like, shit, if you look at my Instagram, I only had like 6K. Now I'm at 10K. Like, that's crazy. Like, Damn. People, I thought she had that much that many already. Yeah. I thought she was going to get like probably like three or four. Of that yeah, I was, I was close, but. Yeah. But it's just like people worldwide reaching out to me. I even had like Michigan and England people reach out to me. So Damn, it was like that's crazy. Wow, like London. And he was he he said something like in his language and I didn't understand. Like I had people texting Damn. my phone that I didn't even know. Wow. From from all over the world because my Insta- my number's on Instagram so they could just mm-hmm. click it. So Oh that's fine, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh wait, 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 wait. So you like Mike Jones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But nah, they just they they hit me and it was like I hope you get well. This, I'm re- reaching out to you, family. This my daughter look up to you, so it was just like crazy. Oh yeah, all the events we go to out here, everybody repping you in some way. Like everybody got your back. Just know that we all waiting for you to come back. We ready for you to come back ten times crazier. Like we already know the comebacks going to be for sure. real. Like we already know that, and like we want you to know also how much of a motivation you are to everybody, not even just younger players, kids your age, like us, me, I'm still hooping, you know what I mean? So to see you still pushing through after all this, it's it's crazy to see. It's really amazing. But what's like your biggest motivation, motivating factor my to, motiva- to healing? To healing is, well, my motivating is my grandpa. Cause he passed away, so, you know, it's really feel like that, but... Yeah. Always make sure like he wants me to do better for mm-hmm. himself. So I think this is helping me get through all like the tragic all I've been through. Yeah. Uh, is there anything that you wanted to say to anybody or talk about specifically? Uh, really? No, nah, but I can say like don't ever give up. Mm-hmm. Like ch- chase your dreams and make sure you get it there and make sure you work hard every day. And uh, education wise, make sure you stay on top of that because. Yeah, I had to go this way. <laughs> but nah, but always oh, just stay happy. It's, it's no time to be mad at the world right now. Because there's so much stuff going on. You can't just be mad at everything. Like, there's still people like looking up to you, too. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, stay happy, stay focused, and clock in. Facts. That part. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving that. <laughs> oh, my life. Do you feel any pressure? From anybody, or are you putting any pressure on yourself? Do you think to come back any faster or quicker? Well, nah, I'm trying to take everything slow as possible so I can make sure I heal right. Yeah, that's very important. Uh, but I ain't got no pressure, or right? nobody putting no pressure on me. Everybody's like, take your time. Mm-hmm. But uh, I know nah, I ain't putting no pressure on myself. Really, I'm just thinking like, if I want to be better, then I gotta take the time to slow down, let my bones heal. If I want to be back who I was. Back. That's important because a lot of people will rush into it. Yeah. And then when they're not ready and then mess up their whole career. So right. that's great that you have that mindset. Um, what else do you do besides who? Yeah, I don't know. Play the game, really. <laughs> Stay in the house. Go. Probably go to park in the house. I don't know. I don't really be out. No oh, much. she got a girl. Oh, I know. Cut that one. <laughs> 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 I'm weak. I knew she was gonna. Say, I knew he was gonna do that when I said that. Nah, but yeah, really just chill. Go, go to my brother's house or something. Just chill, have fun. Probably we go go hoop. So everything I do is just hooping. Like yeah, we can't go a day without hooping. Like that's crazy. In some way, you got some way. Even we go like to the park and just shoot around one on one. Anything, yeah. anything I do in my life is just hooping. I don't know why, but I can't just get rid of it. <laughs> It's in you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's in you. It's not on you. Yeah, it's like it'd be like deep, that. deep, deep in my body somewhere. So. Right. How? Where did? Who? When did you start playing basketball? And who like kind of taught you? I started playing basketball at a very young age, and my dad really, he was always a sports fanatic. So you know, we always went to like the field, or we always, especially in Cali, we went to the gym. Him yeah. and uh, I think my other cousin, uh, we went, and I was very young too. And my grandma got a hoop in front of her house. When I was young, I used to play on that all the time. Yeah. But I started like I was like five or something. And my dad put me on Vegas Elite when we got out here. My dad put me on Vegas Elite. And like ever since that, I just, I don't know, I just got good, better every day, train every day. <laughs> Went to trainers every day and just up my game a little bit. But yeah, I started very, very young. Did you play any other sports or just, just hoop? Uh, I did gymnastics, I guess. 
I'll leave that. That's a spoiler. I would never that know. know. I would have respected yeah. that. Uh, either way. Oh, yeah. I wasn't oh, yeah. <laughs> either. That's yeah. crazy. But uh, I did play football in elementary school. But, you know, they gave up on that because I went up for a catch, broke my tailbone coming down. And my mom was like, nope. No, no more. So, yeah, I did play football. I was always erupt. Like, coming up and growing up, I was always a tomboy. Like, I used did to you go, have, like, a bunch of boy cousins or anything? Yeah, like, that's okay. it. And my brothers. Yeah. And my sister was growing up, too, a tomboy, too. So, it was like I was around so many athletic. And yeah. Growing up, we all was bad fighting and stuff, playing pillow fights, all that. So, <laughs> I ain't had no girly side. They tried to give me, but I just ripped my doll heads off. So it wasn't no chance of me going to come. <laughs> but, yeah, I did it. I did do football, gymnastics. Uh, I think that was it, really, because I just got straight to basketball. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And then I was telling her that it was her first passion. What was her first passion? Because a lot of people don't know this about her. Oh, see, that's what I'm saying. I was about to get your first what, passion. What's your, all right, what's My your first, first passion? passion? She like, why you made her ask me this? <laughs> My first passion was dancing, acting, all that stuff. Dang. Yeah, I used to love to dance everywhere growing up little. I, I, I think we went somewhere, and I was dancing. I was Pretty going much. off, and this dude was just giving me money. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm getting money. Why not keep going? Damn. Really, <laughs> but... Uh, we went to one of this carnival or whatever, and me and my cousins went, yeah, me and my cousins went somewhere, and we were just, you know, going around looking for stuff, and then we heard this dude playing music or whatever, and I was like, all right, might as well dance. So I was dancing, he gave me money too, so I was like, you know what, dancing might be my thing. Dang. Wait, 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 so you crying, what you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My bigger brother, like my oldest brother. He used to crump and all that stuff. So watching him on YouTube and doing how he do it. So I used to copy off him and try to be like him and stuff. So yeah, I used to crump and slow dance, all that stuff. All the good things, you know. That's I, why she moves so well on the court though. Because yeah. she got, she got the mechanics down. She's really good. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, I, used to, I used to compete. Awesome. I used to compete in uh, like events. I used to act. Auditions. I used to go yeah, to. Yeah, talking about stuff. acting. You could do commercials and all that. You yeah. Just, that's, like You could still do that. Yeah, I know that, but you know. Yeah. I was... Oh wait, 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 wait. She did one. Yeah. Oh, no, what? She got the archives. She got the archives. No, but yeah, like Eminem, I always used to act for that. It was just like something, to, just something to do. But I was really good at it though. So you about to get a bag. <laughs> you about to get a bag and everything. That's... Yeah. But nah, the nasty though, we had performance, flipping around. That's all I used to do, just backflip. The first time I ever did it, it broke my neck. Cause my, my, my brothers and sisters was hyping me up and doing this stuff. So I was like, all right, I can do it. One day, you know, fell on my neck. So I ain't gonna do it no more. But then I just kept doing it, kept doing it until I got it. So now I just be like flipping and all that stuff. So that's fire. Hey, yeah. tell me this. As an athlete, if, and just you doing the acting and stuff like that, you think it played like a factor in your future just yeah, the brand too. Oh yeah, like I ain't gonna never give up because it can always be like a plan B, plan mm -hmm. C. Like if because I want to major in kinesi kinesiology, so if that don't work, you know, probably find something else to do. I mean, it's it's not hard to do. I, I can get back into it. You know? Yeah, natural. Yeah, natural. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, you in it? You into the sport or the comp like the competition of the sport, like learning the sport, or you really like competition? Oh, I learned it first. So you always gotta learn how to play the game before you do it. Right. Really. So like, I always watch Kobe growing up and others, uh, like who Michael, Michael Jordan and LeBron. I watch LeBron too. Like my favorite player is Kyrie though, cause you know how he so shifty and how mm -hmm. he get to the rim so quick. But then also I play like John Morant cause how athletic I am. Facts. But I study the game before I play the game. My dad always tell me watch a, like watch a highlight Kobe highlight before I go and play, work on his footwork. Mm -hmm. My dad always know the techniques of the basketball, so he tried to put that in my head, so I know too. Did he play? Nah, he was like a football player. He just played for fun. That's dope. So yeah, he was a football player. But um, yeah, really, I I learned the game before I played it, so it was like I know the technique, the footwork, where she going. But I'm a defensive player too. I like defense mm -hmm. before I go on offense because defense get offense yeah, going. Yeah, right. Yeah. 
Cause you get hypes to the ball, clapping their face, all that talk shit. <laughs> so, so you are, you like a shit talker then? Yeah. Like like you initiate it or you wait till they say something? No, I'm very calm. Like I'm very calm. Yeah. Until so they... I would have never like I can't even see you yeah. doing that. But I feel like you like a discreet. Like you be like whispering yeah. and shit. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Just to the ref, you know refs out here. But, oh my god, they're so bad. Right? <laughs> they're so mad. But I stay calm <laughs> until they think they're doing something to me, and I'm like, you really, you really want me to turn up? So, so when I get mad, I turn up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like man, get out of my way. I'm going to score 30, 40 on y'all. So I was just like that. Oh my god. What's the most you ever scored in the game? The most was playing against FBC out in Atlanta. I scored like 40 points. I wasn't even thinking. I was just hooping. I still got that highlight to this day because I, I watch it all the time. What puts you in, like, your most deep and, like, most zen game mode where you just, like you said, you just hoop? Like, what do you prepare? How do you prepare to, to be in that? Or you just don't think and you just go hoop? Now, sometimes I do, but, I, like I said, when somebody thinks they're doing something, <laughs> then I'll be like, all right, now I got to turn up because you think you're doing something. You think you're going to drop 30 on me, especially when – I play against like a friend or like yeah. a competitive. Yeah. Like I know you, and I know like the top, like the elites, mm -hmm. like elite players. Like if I know you're elite and you good and you a five star too, then I'm gonna go out. You go out. You facts. You gotta expose them. Yeah. Because you might be good on clip, but that's a fact. Oh, yeah. that would. Oh, you that's said a that on a fact. Clip. Talk, <laughs> that, talk. I wanna hear that. I wanna... <laughs> All these players you've seen that they hyping up, right? Yep. And then you see them and you like, I know y'all not talking about that. <laughs> I mean, just saying who you talking they about. They my dog. They my dog. But I be seeing them on clip. And then when I really really go to a real game, I'm like, bro, come on. Show me what you be showing me on highlights, man. But yeah, when I play against them, I was like, this y'all dog. This y'all, this y'all, man. Y'all be recording. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that, there's always love after two. Like, we yeah. shake, we give hugs, all that stuff. But I'm going to show you what I got. You feel me? Because you're not going to put me on a highlight tape and then you think you'll get away with it. Yeah. You're right. not going to have me on like, overtime W. <laughs> 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 but, oh, but, my life. But, yeah. It was all fun. It's all fun. Like, game is fun. Like, that's why it's fun. Playing against, <laughs> playing against players that's elite, just like you, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Because playing against, like, I ain't going to say bums, but playing against, you know, who, it's just like, this is no fun. Like I'm Yeah, you're just, not getting better. You're not at this time, it's like my other teammates just go to work on y'all because I don't have to do anything. But, yeah. We got to get them highlights on other people because they be show bones. <laughs> man, I don't know if they're paying these folks. Yeah. I don't know, man. But, uh, that's the best thing. Uh, so, I'm going to change the topic. Yeah. All right. Uh, I just want to talk about like the hospital experience, you know, the recovery and all that. Um, it really just. So you just started, you know, yeah. last week you've been turned up. You're mm -hmm. doing something different. You're something new. So I want, really want to talk about that. Yeah. So when I was at Sandstone, uh, I didn't have weight bearing on my legs at all or my arms. So I didn't have weight bearing at all. But I just got. Wait, hold on. And I may cut you up. I ain't gonna cut you But uh, start from the beginning. Walk yeah, but your journey, cause yeah. not everybody knows what's going on. This is gonna be one of them. So everything, everybody know what happened, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. So got got up in the hospital, sandstone, and I was just like thinking, like, hey, am I ever gonna get back on my feet? And I never let that got into get in my head, so I always stay positive about it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, I can do this. I want to play back. I want to go to college and stuff. And I signed. So that made me, like, you know, motivate a little more. Yeah. Signed to USC. So once I signed, I was like, all right. So I got I to gotta achieve another goal. Because mm -hmm. that's already goal step one. Facts, yeah. For me, so did that. I was like, all right. It's cool. And then once I got, like, a little more better, started to move out the bed, seeing everybody. Everybody just came and supported, came to my dorm room. And came and was like, hey, you want this? You want that? Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, I don't really know what I want, but yeah, you can give me this. You yeah. can give me that. You feel me? Like, I appreciate it. I'm going to eat it for sure. <laughs> feel me? But it was just so, there was just so much love. And all that love and support, I was like, yeah, I got to get better. Mm -hmm. Feel me? 
So once that once that happened, once that better time I started getting better than prom and all that stuff was coming through. So I was like, okay, how I'm gonna like do this? Like, am I walking all right? Am I doing this? Am I doing that? Pain I had in my legs, I couldn't really do it, couldn't really tolerate it. But now I look at me, I tolerate it. And mm -hmm. Sitting in the chair that I didn't do like two weeks ago. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. The but, momentum is crazy. Yeah. I'm but, trying to figure out how you still be smiling, talking your shit on Instagram. I'm lit. I'm like, yo, you're Man, because like I said before, you can never, ever be mad at the world. Like, I'm a positive person in general. Like, I love... Mm -hmm. I love going out. I love talking to people. I'm quiet. I can be in a corner, not say nothing at all. But like, like I said, it's it's life. Like stuff happens for a reason. Right. It's a life lesson. It teaches you oh not to do this, not to do that again. Mm -hmm. But like I said, like I'm always stay positive because who I am. It's just like what I do. So I still smile, I still kick it, I still call somebody FaceTime, I probably still get up right now and be like, come on, let's go to the court. <laughs> I'll be in a wheelchair, I still shoot some hoops, so I ain't tripping. But yeah, but it it was I ain't gonna say it was easy, it was tough. Mm -hmm. Especially my first steps. My first steps, I dropped a tear, my mom was there. But I ain't gonna be ashamed of that because look, I'm walking now. Yeah. I have a walker over there that I can use right now to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it was hard. It was it was hard when I first took my first steps because it was like I never did this before. I've been off laying in the bed for like three two months. I don't know what I'm gonna feel like. I'm weak. You feel me? So once that happened, I started getting stronger. I start PT started telling me, "Oh, we're gonna do this right away. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that." So once that came along, they was like, "Okay, next step." Like they, they was pushing me. Like there's yeah. no time to waste. Like you gotta do this, you gotta do that if you wanna be ready for college. Right. So once I got a little better, I took my first steps. It was hard, but then I started going with it. I started going through with it and I was like, Okay, let's keep this going and then I started shoot acing the basic training. That's why I'm here now. So they wanted me to do intensive intensive training here, like I just got done with. Yeah. And right now, I just walked 100 feet Damn. on my own. Damn. And I walked up some stairs, got in the car. Like, this shit crazy. Like, I I never thought I could really do that until I put my mind to it. Like, yeah, yeah I can do it. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, it's crazy. And, like, when I'm done with here, I'll be off to college. Mm -hmm. Like, stronger and better and doing what they do for me now. Right. So really, I never gave up. So even, even though you have hard times, you still don't never give up on a hard time because it's going to push you to be stronger. Like the yeah. mindset I have is just like my my grandpa wouldn't want to see me down. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't want to see me go through this. Right. He want to see me up and active and how I really am. Mm -hmm. So here now, I'm just chilling. Just got done with intensive therapy, walking, and more things I do. Like I have, I got to do three hours here. There I have 45 minutes, mm -hmm. but at the same time I was still going and still a person, still being a better me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm getting there, I'm getting better, you feel me? I mean, I'm One step at a time. For real. For real. What, uh, what kind of stuff they got you doing? Like in the water or are you like just walking off? Well, not yet. But once I get like out there, I'll start doing like water stuff and more intense, more and more intense therapy out there. Okay. Out in uh, when you Cal go to school. Yeah. Okay. That's so dope that they like really working with you like that, and the, your coaches and stuff. Oh yeah, that was dope to me. Shit. When I knew when they said we want you to sign, I was like, I'm gonna sign. I ain't gonna waste no time. <laughs> I don't care. That's crazy, man. <laughs> They make like, look. They really supporting you. Yeah, like really, really supporting you. Your when I was mom. Here last time, they were in here yeah. sitting mm -hmm. with you, just chilling. Yeah, that was dope. Like a personal, like they care about me personally. They don't care yeah, about just the basketball. A, a lot of coaches, a lot of schools have been like, all right, well, we can't really use her no more. We don't know when she's coming back, yeah. so mm -hmm. you know, next. Yeah, right. So you got you some real ones. Yeah, Everything sure. happens for a reason. Everybody's supporting you. Going, you gonna be good. Mom, you raised a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
I try to tell her to the other kids, you know, I should have been the first one. But <laughs> 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 oh, man, wait, how, how big is the fam? How yeah, is the fam? it's four. Four, y'all? Yeah. yeah, I'm the youngest, though. The youngest. All the rest yeah. of them are, bro- are, oh, you got a sister. So yeah, I got a sister and yeah. two brothers. Yeah. I'm my dad's only child, though. Okay. Yeah. Tell me this, man. Every time I see you dripped up. My of life. First off, I'm my life. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you know, what I, mean? I got it. I got it. Because you know, the nurses are pretty good. <laughs> 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 Tell me this, man. Every time I see you dripped up, every time I see you dripped up, you know, every time I see you dripped up, every time I see you dripped up, every time I see you dripped up, every time I see I like to play basketball and just to walk off. I want to hear both because you drink. Right. You on the court swaggy. Y'all be seeing you in the shorts. Yeah. They call them the hoochie shorts now. Oh, yeah. I was like, hey, what's up with that? <laughs> I'm still going to wear them, but y'all call me very young. But no, uh, favorite shoe I like to play in. Probably some Kyrie's because that's my favorite player. Why not mm-hmm. represent them? Yeah. But they feel good. They just, and they give me that little spring I could just go up to the rim with. But uh, my favorite shoe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because you got a, it's a clip I was just watching. I don't know. I think it was either Ball Dogs did it or, or Saucy did it. Oh, yeah. I was in the Paul George. She was right there. She oh, was yeah. dunking that. Yeah, you got to put that on there. Oh, they got to see that. Oh, yeah. I think I was on, I think Saucy would it recorded it. I was just yeah. Paul George's. They old now because I've been running to them. But I was like, all right, I'm going to do this dunk. I'm going to just go ahead and go up there and try it. That was your first time trying it? Yeah. But now, I, let me tell y'all a little secret. Let me tell y'all a little secret. We ain't got the record because the lady won't send it to me. But, you know, but I did dunk at the McDonald's on American game. She finally won't send it to you. Finally won it. I think until they won, like, oh, no. Wait. Your daddy be back. What, it's or? a random lady? <laughs> no, she, uh, I, I, she, she probably like the staff. She famous. No, she, uh, like, she do record or whatever. Oh. She, oh, she, she was speaking brand. on, like, ESPN. Yeah. Oh. Um, but, um. She was like, oh, my God, 5'9", whatever. I was like, I don't know what happened. I just jumped my hardest and went up and <laughs> did it. So I dunked it and everybody was like, oh, do it again, do it again. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it again. I'm tired. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Y'all only get that one time. <laughs> Y'all only get that one time. Yeah. 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 Yeah
This is being rough. That's wild. Yeah. Wait, how's the hospital food in this thing? Oh, I was really this? thinking that when we first came in. Now, last hospital food over there at Sandstone was terrible. Uh, I promise you, I would not eat it. Would never eat it. <laughs> won't even touch it. I don't even smell it. It look good. Like, and I won't. Won't do it, but hey, this hospital food right here is actually kind of good. I ain't gonna lie, but <laughs> that salad was banging when y'all before y'all came in here. <laughs> but yeah, favorite meal so far you had in the hospital? Favorite meal was yesterday. It was like pasta, or whatever. I tear that thing. Up. <laughs> it was like a ch- chicken pasta, man. We had to get two plates. Oh, okay, we had to get two plates. But yeah, that was pretty good. That was my first meal from the hospital. I'm like, mm, and I tried it out. I, I ain't stop. I ain't put my head up. I was. <laughs> Yeah, that was good though. All right, I got a question about the locks. This job is this job inspired? Nah, nah. I did have them at first, but uh, then. So you the original? Yeah. yeah. Yep. But now nah, my uh, a very close friend of mine. I think I know Janai Janai Davis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her grandpa passed away, and like those those like my family fit. So her mom asked me if I can dry uh dye d- dread mm-hmm. for her grandpa that passed away because his favorite color green. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so I did it because I even went to the funeral and I heard me because yeah. he like he took care of me too. Like he used to buy me things, took me everywhere with Janai. He would oh, drop us off. Yeah. Sorry, her hair is green too, so she yeah. Too? Okay. So we he would drop us off. He would do this. He would pick us up. He would call us like y'all want to go hoop or whatever. Oh, like when we, when I even went to promote with Janai, he was like y'all want to go do this. Y'all want to go hoop. Like we like with him, it was all up. Like and. Not to be like racist or anything, like he was white too. Mm-hmm. So you know, it was mm-hmm. like But then we <laughs> settled we settled we settled in or whatever. So yeah, I, I could say that that that's like my grandpa too, how much I love him. Yeah. That's dumb. Hey, how big is Tom? Big. Pretty big, but you know. Still here. Still doing it. I'll get up to the time soon. Hey, uh, if you heard, uh, I don't know if you know our slogan, don't tell me, show me. But, uh, what do you hear that with, what that mean to you? If I say don't tell me and show me, like, like I said, like, if you good, you gotta show me. You can't just tell me, okay, I'm a five star hooper. You, okay, show me. Play me. Show me. Yeah. Like, go, let me see some clips or highlights, like, raw highlights of you, like, getting down or whatever. Like even you want to court, I said that one time before to a to an opponent, and she was like, she just this good, that good, and I was like, okay, show me. Don't tell me I don't want to hear nothing. Yeah. Show me. <laughs> so that's what I think. Like if I say, if like we go into the park or whatever, and you know how the old heads be like, oh I'm this, mm. search me up. I I was killing the game. I was like, okay, show me. I don't want to hear nothing. Show me that you good, cause I'm not afraid of playing anybody. I play old heads, all that. She like, so, yeah. She ain't lying. Like it you can tell her it's different from how she changed because it was like going to the park, sitting on the bench, not getting picked up, mm. to going to the park and they arguing over who mm-hmm. gonna get her. And these, you know, these and are men, I, like, yeah. Men. Dude, this is guys. I like, oh, are you sure, babe? She should be out there playing with these grown men because they usually they argue and yeah. be all weird. And I'm like, she's just a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I used to talk. I used to talk. I used to talk back too. Like, nigga, you suck. Like, you can't guard me, man. I said, I was like, everybody just move out of the line. And I hear him talk. And I just point at him like, yeah, that's your fault. He said, you be a little kid. They be like, oh, she a girl. Take it easy on her. I'm like, no, don't take it easy. Nothing on me. Like, just because I'm a girl doesn't mean how like how you play. Like, play how you play. Oh my, like actually though, actually though. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Hi, Jerry. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi. Sorry. I'm... Oh, are you guys in the middle of something? No, you're good. No, you're good. Let me ask you a Hi, I'm Kiana from the kitchen. I'm here to ask you some questions about your meals for tomorrow. Okay. You're talking about that. You're right on time. <laughs> um, for breakfast, I got blueberry muffins. And on the side, it's scrambled eggs with cheese. Sweet potato hash and honeydew and cantaloupe. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And then what do you like to drink in the morning? Uh, probably some apple juice. Apple juice. 
And then for lunch, I got some chili pasta with um, carrots and a dinner roll or grilled chicken salad with almond and grapes. Grilled chicken sandwich. Or salad, salad. Salad, yeah. Uh, what kind of dressing do you like? Uh, ranch or ranch. Caesar. And then it comes with broccoli cheddar soup. Yeah. Okay. And then for dessert, it's um, ice cream. Would you like chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry? Vanilla. Okay. And then what do you like to drink for lunch? Um, the same Sprite or something. All right. And then for dinner, it's a hamburger with broccoli and roasted potatoes, or a turkey wrap with lemon chicken orzo soup. I can also do cheeseburgers, hamburgers, grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, can I do a hamburger? Yeah. But on the broccoli, can I have cheese on it? Sure. Okay, can I have cheese on my burger too? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, sticks. Lettuce, tomato, fine with you? Yeah. You want french fries? Yeah. Alright, and then for dessert, it's oatmeal raisin cookie or apricots? Oatmeal. Alright. And then for you to drink for dinner? Uh, same thing. Uh, Sprite. Sprite. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna let you, we're gonna let you get to that in and out. Woo! I know you're waiting for it. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else you want to say to your people, to anybody you want to um, say anything to? I just want to say y'all stay clocked in and, you know, you know, do what y'all got to do. Really? The world too small. You only live once, so go have fun. All right, shout out your handles real quick so they can follow you. They already know who you are, but you know. But you just know. Just remind them one more time. My IG is AG3, AG3 with two three E's and you know go hit that follow and you know stay clocked in you feel me you know you gotta get that work in all right it's a wrap thank you thank, thank you mom you go you go you gonna go yeah you got something to say mom no oh why are you being a shot right now you talking about <laughs> <laughs> she got the archives and all right <laughs> what are you shy at the end like what you're supposed to be shy down through the whole time. <laughs> I am Kevin. I appreciate you letting us rock with you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yep. I ain't no speed recovery. Thank you for coming. No rush. Uh, if you need this, tack in. Yep. I got some drink on my hand. Thank you. What, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Yep. Nip blue. Yep. All right, man. All you right, know, man. you know, you already know. Why are you playing? Hey, we need to get her those short phones. I have. Yeah, what I do.